So guys, welcome to another episode of my Napoli Cremo. Today is Easter, so happy Easter, guys. So let's jump into the episode of the Napoli Cremo. Obviously, as I did say, it is Easter today. So let's have a special episode of my Napoli Cremode series. We're jumping into a game against Cagliari to kick off today's episode. And guys, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, support it by dropping a like rating. If we can smash over 100 likes, that will be insane. Drop a comment down below, guys, that I could personally respond to. The interaction in this series has been insane. Thank you guys so much for that. And make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. We started this series exactly one week ago it's gone down so well we are episode number eight guys and this series has been going up daily because of your support so remember support the video by dropping a like we're coming up against Cagliari and that's their lineup for this game they're starting a 4-3-2-1 formation playing with two players just behind the striker. But as you guys can see, the first highlight in this game actually came in the 20th minute through Jose Calhoun, plays the ball to De Guzman, who plays it to Aubameyang, skips around a defender and finesses that one into the back of the net. And Aubameyang, he's just leaving off where he He's just continuing, can't, cannot stop scoring this guy. And you guys have been noticing that from the games that we have been playing so far this season. Aubameyang, he is joint level first in the top goal scorers in the league with Carlos Tevez. As you guys can see, Cagliari got back into this game from some very bad passing from myself. And they did make it 1-1 in the 30th minute. But at, just before halftime, guys, it is the Guzman on the ball. Plays it to Mertens, actually plays it over top to Aubameyang. And Aubameyang with the chance, and it's saved from the goalkeeper. And from that, we try and whip it across, trying to find a player that can put us in the lead. But it didn't happen, guys. The game ends 1-1 at full time. So we only receive one point from that game. Obviously, we are chasing Juventus, who are in the first position in the league at the moment. We are second. We are three points behind them. So exactly one game behind them. We do have the better goal difference. So if it does come down to goal difference, we will obviously go higher than them because we do have that better goal difference. But we are coming up against Empoli in the next game of today's episode. And this team, I don't really know too much about. In the league so far, they I think they're mid-table or just a, a bit higher than the mid-table. So let's take a look at my lineup for this game. Jose Callon will actually be starting up front with Zapata, with Mertens and Coutinho just behind him. Kovacic and Jorginho in the two CDM positions. And obviously my normal back four. Cedric, the right back, guys, has been a great signing. I'm really happy on how good that signing actually has been so far this series. But as you guys can see, that's the lineup that we are coming up against. Yeah, again, it's a 4-3-2-1 formation team that we are coming up against. Let's hope that we can get the win against them and pick up three points in the league. Because if we do draw this game and Juventus do win, it's just going to make us go further back, further back than Juventus. And as you guys can see straight from kickoff, the first side did happen as Kovacic actually wins the ball, our CDM. He's actually going to try and make his way onto goal here. He's obviously down the wing. He's going to cut back inside. He's going to make his way inside the box, and he actually does go down. The defender has given away a penalty. Guys, we have the opportunity after really straight from kickoff to give us a 1-0 advantage and put ourselves in the lead in this game, guys. As you guys can see, Kovacic made his way onto goal. Obviously, the defender did take him down, not getting the ball, so it is a clear penalty. So this is a chance, guys, for Mertens, who's actually going to take the penalty, to give us a 1-0 advantage in really the early stages in this game. I was looking to maybe take make another player take the penalty, but I decided to go with Mertens, and Mertens is just going to put that one into the back of the net. Guys, Mertens with the penalty. That was probably one of the worst penalties I've ever done in FIFA, and I'm surprised that that one actually did go in it was straight at the goalkeeper but luckily for us it deflected off him and the goal did happen so we do make it one nil but during stoppage time just before half time you guys can see some fantastic passing play there from the empoli players and they almost made it one one but there obviously the final shot did go wide off target of the goal but in the 72nd minute Jorginho, Jordino, sorry on the ball for us plays it wide to Coutinho who is starting in the attacking midfield position because now Inla is back from his injury he's going to play it wide to Cedric who plays it inside to Zapata Zapata is going to cut it inside do a fake shot sorry to get around his man and make sure that that one does put ourselves in the lead he makes a 2-1 guys a very nice finish there from Zapata obviously 
He had to get around his defender, did a fake shot to do so, and made sure that we did take the lead. But in the 90th minute, guys, we tried to make a 3-1 through Kovacic here. His shot is well saved there from the opposition goalkeeper, but the ball did fall to Zapata again. It's another great save there from the goalkeeper. And from that, guys, we do have a corner, as it did come off the deflection of the of the defender there. Callahan whips it in trying to find Zapata and his header is well saved there from the Empoli goalkeeper. But guys, at full time it ends 2-1 and we will be picking up three important points in the league. But guys, this is another huge game to end off this Easter special of my Napoli Cremotis against AS Monaco, the final Champions League group stage game. And as you guys can see, it is Real Madrid who is sitting in first with 11 points. We are second with eight points. Monaco are third with seven points and FC Basel are down with one point. So guys, this is a huge game because if we do win or draw this game, we will go through into the knockout stages of the Champions League and we will finish second in our group but if Monaco actually beat us they will actually jump over us and finish in that second spot so guys this is a huge game because we can actually be knocked out of the Champions League if we do not win this game we will go into the Europa League but Europa League to be honest I really don't want to go down to the Europa League Obviously, Champions League so far, we've been playing quite well. We were leading Real Madrid 2-0 in one of the games, but obviously, they did come back to make it 2-2 at full time. So, is that going to be the game that, not say costs us, but a game that we're going to look back on and say, that is a chance that we did have to actually go through to the knockout stages if we did pick up those three points. And as you guys can see, in the seventh minute, Marquinhos does give away a free kick to AS Monaco. And AS Monaco are a very strong side, still in the Champions League in real life at the moment. And Jao Moutinho is going to put a fantastic strike of the ball right into the top corner. And AS Monaco do make it 1-0 in the eighth. 8th minute, Jao Moutinho take a bell, that was a fantastic free kick, into the roof, the top corner, into the back net, Lloris tried to go and die for that one, but all he could do was just watch that one, because it was just a well struck free kick, and Monaco do make it 1-0, so if it stays like this guys, we will finish 3rd in our Champions League group, and get dropped down into the Europa League, something that I do not want to happen, so as you guys can see in the 20th minute, Carrasco for AS Monaco had an opportunity, for themselves to double their lead but it, they did not do so but in the 45th minute Insigne with a few step overs and he tries to bend that one onto goal but as you guys can see the AS Monaco players throughout this game were just all over us you guys know that there's just some games in career mode that you just struggle so bad against the computer and this was one of them as in the 60th minute Berbatov has another opportunity to make it to nil, but luckily for us his shot does go wide of the goal there's a great chance for Berbatov to make it to nil to AS Monaco. But in the 82nd minute, Jose Calon whips in across trying to find Aubameyang. And it's Aubameyang with the header. And it's a save from the goalkeeper, guys. And the game is going to end AS Monaco 1, Napoli nil. So, guys, we have been knocked out of the Champions League. Sad, Sadly, we have been knocked out. Obviously, that free kick from Joel Moutinho was just a fantastic free kick into the top corner. And AS Monaco do go through. To be honest, we do not deserve to finish third in our group. We finished two points behind Monaco, but we did not deserve that, guys. To be honest, our Champions League form throughout, like, obviously, the group stages was fantastic. As I did say, we're beating Real Madrid 2-0 at one stage. We drew against them 2-2. We drew against Monaco. And obviously, the second time we played Real Madrid, we did actually lose to him. So, guys, there was an opportunity for us to go through, but we did not take it. You guys have been seeing the teams who aren't going through into the um, actually knockout rounds. But, guys, the interesting thing is that we finished third, Juventus finished third, and Roma finished third. So, three Italian sides that were in the Champions League have been knocked down into the Europa League. The kick off, to kick off the next episode, guys, we'll have a huge game against AC Milan. As I did say, that's going to be in the next episode. If you guys have enjoyed, the, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop me a like rating. Drop a comment down below and make sure that you subscribe, guys. Hope you have a fantastic Easter and I'll see you all on my next video.